This is no ordinary aircraft. It's an electric vertical takeoff and landing vehicle, or eVTOL. For the first time, you can build aircraft that are not only low cost, but also really safe and really low noise. While many companies are still trying to make regular EVs that can run on the road, one company has gone beyond the road and achieved a remarkable feat. It has unveiled a real flying electric vehicle that has shocked everyone. Opener is the name of this innovative company, and it has taken inspiration from many sci-fi movies with its flying car design. The flying car is powered by electricity and can soar in the air with ease and speed. And the most exciting news is that Opener is inviting the public to register interest in the Early Access Program, which will allow them to experience the flying car for themselves. Join us as we take a look at this flying car EV toll and how it could change everything. EV tolls, electric vertical takeoff and landing aircraft, are a new and innovative class of aircraft that have been gaining significant attention in the aviation industry. Unlike traditional fixed-wing aircrafts or helicopters, eVTOLs are designed to take off and land vertically, eliminating the need for long runways or helipads. These aircraft are powered by electric propulsion systems, which offer numerous advantages over conventional internal combustion engines. Opener is a company that makes EV tolls, which are flying vehicles that can take off and land vertically without a runway. The company was founded by Marcus Lang, a Canadian engineer who had the idea of creating a personal aircraft that anyone could fly. He started working on his idea in 2009, and two years later, he built and flew his first prototype in his own backyard in Canada. Since then, Opener has been working on its main project, the Black Fly EV Toll. The Black Fly has a special design that lets it tilt almost 90 degrees when it flies, making it more agile and efficient than other EV tolls. Opener has tested many versions of the Black Fly and collected a lot of data from hundreds of flights. The company has also developed a simple user interface, a comprehensive training program and a fault-tolerant safety system for the Black Fly. In 2018, Opener showed the world a flight with a nearly finished Black Fly, which attracted a lot of attention and interest. The Black Fly has a unique design that features two short wings on each side of the seat, and each wing has four small engines with spanning blades called propellers. These propellers can tilt the whole plane up or down, allowing it to hover or cruise in the air. The Black Fly looks like a cool flying car from an old comic book with a sleek and futuristic shape. Now, Opener is ready to sell the Black Fly to some select customers who want to experience the thrill of personal aerial freedom. But they will have to learn how to fly it and share their feedback with Opener as part of the early access program. The Black Fly has a battery that can power it for 20 miles of flight, which is enough for short trips or fun rides. It can fly as fast as 63 miles per hour. It can also climb or descend very quickly at a rate of 500 feet per minute, which means it can go up or down a tall building in less than a minute. The Black Fly has a simple and intuitive way of controlling it. It has a stick that you use to steer it left or right or to make it go faster or slower. It also has a button and a switch on the stick that you use to start or stop flying. To take off, you press the button and push the switch forward at the same time. To land, you do the opposite. You don't need to worry about other buttons or switches because the Black Fly has a smart system that takes care of everything else for you. Many other companies are making bigger planes that can carry more people for short trips, like from one city to another. These planes are also electric and can take off and land vertically, but they are more complicated and expensive. They also need a human pilot to fly them, at least for now. The Black Fly is different from these planes because it is a small plane that only one person can fly, and it does not need a pilot license to operate. This means anyone can fly it, as long as they get some training from the company that makes it. The company wants to achieve market commercialization of its innovative Black Fly aircraft. To do so, the company has launched an early access program, EAP, for 12 selected EV toll customers. These customers will not only get to experience Opener's training and aerial technology firsthand, but will also provide valuable feedback about their entire customer journey. According to Opener's CEO, Ken Carklin, the EAP is a crucial step for the company's success. He said, 
we have a sound and novel aircraft design. Opener's EAP establishes a two-way communication channel to inform how we address customer concerns, refine features, and optimize the overall user experience. Our close partnership with early adopters is a huge step towards moving us closer to general release and fulfilling the promise of personal aerial freedom. The company's first customer who participated in the EAP recently took delivery of his Blackfly aircraft and was overjoyed during his first flight. He described it as an exhilarating and unforgettable experience. The EAP is a way for Opener to refine its features, optimize its performance, and improve its customer service before launching the Blackfly to the general public. The Blackfly is designed to comply with the FAA Part 103 ultralight category, which means that no pilot certificate is required to fly it. That being said, Opener relayed that it requires any and all EV toll pilots to undergo comprehensive flight training. The Blackfly is also an all-electric aircraft that produces no emissions and consumes less energy than an electric car. The Blackfly is not just a vehicle, but a new way of exploring the world from new heights. It is designed for safety, simplicity, and sustainability. And equipped for vertical takeoff and landing, Blackfly removes the barriers that prevent everyday adventurers from experiencing the joys of aviation. With the Blackfly, you can embrace unparalleled freedom and explore the world around you. The future of aviation with you at the controls. Opener has not revealed any details about the official pricing or commercial production of its innovative Blackfly aircraft, as the company is currently focusing on its early access program. Opener welcomes anyone who is interested in the EAP to register their interest on its website, but warns that the opportunities are very limited. According to the program's dedicated page, there are only 12 slots available for the EAP, and one of them has already been taken by Mr. Lum, the first customer who received his Blackfly aircraft. On that page, you can also watch a video of Mr. Lum's first flight, where he expresses his joy and excitement about flying in the air. Another company called Aleph Aeronautics is also working on its own EV toll, and it has even received approval for use in the US. Aleph Aeronautics introduced the Model A to the world in 2022. The Model A has impressive capabilities, such as the ability to drive up to 200 miles on the road and travel up to 110 miles in the air using electric-powered and advanced technology. The Model A became even more remarkable when it achieved a rare and prestigious feat, obtaining a special airworthiness certification from the U.S. Federal Aviation Administration. The certification not only confirmed the vehicle's ability to fly safely and efficiently, but also assured potential customers of its high quality and compliance with rigorous safety standards. The excitement and enthusiasm for the Model A has reached an all-time high even though its production is still scheduled to begin in the fourth quarter of 2025, with deliveries expected to follow shortly after. Remarkably, people from all walks of life are already eager to get their hands on one of these flying electric cars. Aleph recently announced that pre-orders for its first-of-its-kind vehicle have skyrocketed to an astonishing 2,500, a dramatic increase from the 400 pre-orders they had recorded by the end of last year. This overwhelming demand represents an incredible $750 million in revenue for the company once deliveries are underway. Out of the 2,500 people who ordered the car, most of them are individual customers, not businesses. That shows that the car has a lot of popularity and attraction among the general public, who are fascinated by this amazing innovation and want to own it. Only 400 orders came from business entities such as companies or organizations, and one of them is a well-known car dealership in California. Aleph is working closely with them to make sure they have a good plan and system to sell the car to more customers in 2025. This shows that the world is quickly moving towards EV tolls, and we could take to the skies in only a few years' time. What do you think about this? Let us know down in the comments section.